I am back with another flight attendant vlog. Okay, so now that I'm flying more, I have a set schedule now. I am definitely going to be vlogging more and doing more flight attendant videos. My life been really crazy lately because I'm in the process. First of all, originally you guys know I was based in Virginia. Uh, I'm not based there anymore. So I had to completely, for this whole year, I've been like barely working one because of COVID, two the base closed. Um, so I just been moving and then three where I live in Atlanta, we had to like completely remodel the house, sell the house. I'm moving from this place and then now I'm about to move somewhere else. But I'm moving to my new place in April. So finally things are calming down. I'm traveling more and I can finally just, you know, get my life together. Um, so I wanted to do more flight attendant vlogs for you guys. And um, so this trip is going to be fun. I I'm only working. This is only a um, two day trip. I literally, well, three day. I get back Thursday. So I literally only fly today to Norfolk and then tomorrow I overnight in Savannah, Georgia and then I come back Thursday. So it's gonna be a cool trip but it's gonna be kind of fun because I have a layover in Virginia. And that's gonna be fun because my mom lives there so in the morning she's gonna come, she's gonna bring me food. And actually like, I look cute today, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm gonna be like, I'm joking. But I look cute today, Um, just got my hair flat on and I haven't wore red lipstick since pre-covid because we have to wear a mask so there's no point but i kind of want to look cute for the video so i put it on <laughs> but but yeah so this is me so i only have one flight today it's at 10 30 um and then at 11 30 we land in norfolk virginia um but i have to go to the even though my flight isn't until 10 30 it leaves from charlotte because i'm based in charlotte so since i live in atlanta i have to catch a flight to charlotte then i work so that's like the commuting life like when you don't live where you're based your first flight of the day you have to get on a plane and go to where you're based so i'm based in charlotte but i live in atlanta so i have to get on a flight from atlanta charlotte but it's only 40 minutes and that flight is at six so i'll land um to charlotte at seven I sit in the crew room, eat a little bit, and then I work that one flight, and it's not really a big deal. And I'm so happy because um, for like this past year, I've been on like call, and basically like it's like um, sometimes you work, sometimes you don't, but you still get paid. Um, but now I have a set schedule, so I know when I'm working. And vice I'm versa. so mad because it's raining in Atlanta. Recently, it hasn't been raining at all. Like the weather's been very, very good. And it's like, now it's raining all week and I'm mad because I want to have fun this weekend. Um, Because I'm off the whole weekend. That's the good thing about having a set schedule now. Like, I can pretty much choose and manipulate when I want to work. You know what I'm saying? My days during the week. I love that for me. Um, But yeah, I'm about to go to the airport. Um, I got my bonnet because I'm like, I ain't about to make my hair get poofy. You know what I'm saying? Real hair struggles. <laughs> I kind of hate vlogging in the airport though because I'm like, everybody be looking at me, especially my uniform on. That's the annoying part. I don't care if I don't have my uniform on, but when I have my uniform on, everybody be watching me. Hey y'all. Okay y'all, so sometimes the commuting life can be like, like a struggle sometimes because it's easier to commute in the morning, but since my flight is so late, like it's not until 10 p.m., I thought I was like, okay, you know, I can just take the five o'clock flight or whatever. But I totally forgot about Atlanta traffic and it's like, now I'm not getting to the airport until, I literally left an hour ago. That's why I can't wait to move. Now I'm not getting to the airport until five o'clock. The plane boards at 5.15 um, and it's just like, okay i hope i make it because i still gotta park and everything um so i'm about to be rushing like crazy i'm just like at this point i mean worst case scenario i would have to drive all the way to charlotte which is like three hours from here but i don't want to i don't want to drive and i got plans when i get back so i'm just like i just want to get back so that's the commuter struggle sometimes taking that first flight can be an easy breeze sometimes it can be an inconvenience and then especially especially if you can't if you can't get back you know what i'm saying that'd be annoying too if you're gonna be a flight attendant keep that in mind if you don't want to live in the city that you are based in you do got to catch that first flight before but it's like i've never had issues on 
until today because normally I commute early in the morning at the city airport. But I had I went to, I ran errands and stuff today trying to be slick, and now I'm like okay. Now it's cutting it close, and in my airline the seats are it's only three seats left, so I'm having to get on another airline. That's why I'm trying to hurry up. If you know Atlanta Airport, you gotta take that dang train. As soon as I get there, I just get my bags out the car and I'm good and I'm good to go. Okay guys, as you can see, I have made it to Charlotte. Um, shout out to this other flight attendant. Her name is Cassie. I met her on the plane. We both were running to the gate. Um, I had to get on Delta, a different airline, to get here today because my airline was too full when it came to commuting to Charlotte. And I ran into her and she was so cool. We worked for the same airline, so we sat by each other on the plane. And we were just happy to make it because let me tell you, that commuting struggle is a lot. Um, so I got here about an hour ago, around seven o'clock. It's eight o'clock. Um, I'm just sitting here, people watching, looking awkward on camera. Um, my flight, I don't even have to get to my gate until 10 o'clock, so I have two more hours. I packed a lunch, I cooked yesterday, so I'm just gonna eat that. I don't wanna buy no food this trip, that's my goal. Um, but yeah, so it's kinda crazy, because it's like, if I lived in Charlotte, I wouldn't even have to come to the airport until 9.30. You know, you got your whole day. But since I live in Atlanta, I had to run my errands in the morning. Then by 3 o'clock, 3, 4 o'clock, I was headed to the airport. So the community does take some of your day. And I have lipstick on my nose. But <laughs> the vlog is raw. So I might put my mask on. I only put my mask on to talk to y'all. But I'm about to go to the crew room. I feel like my bags are so heavy. Like, even when walking from Delta's terminal, to our terminal out of breath. Yeah, so sometimes the struggle can be real, but you know, I don't mind it. I don't want to live it's like in Charlotte. I have no friends here. Well, I have my flight attendant friends, but like my people is in Atlanta. So I have to sacrifice being tired to start the day of my trip. I really okay, guys, I'm the first one on the plane, so I guess I'm gonna work the front. Um, I already did my pre flights, which means you check for safety and all that stuff. And now I am putting my bag up, I'm just waiting for the other flight attendant. The front means I gotta work first class, so I actually gotta work work. <laughs> That's what we call it, because in the back right now we're not serving. So yeah, quick flight to Virginia. It's crazy, I'm just now working, but I've been on the move to get here all day. <laughs> gotta take these out. Still have a lot of time though, I'm early. And, um, and I gotta put my hair up. And the captain, he's from Cuba, and I said I love Cuba. Hey guys, I am off work. It's midnight. I mean, I've had a long day just because, you know, I had to commute. So you guys saw that type of thing, but my flight was only like 40 minutes. I got this red lipstick all over. I'm not wearing this red lipstick no more because, like, it's cute for my pictures, and it did the job. That's why I had it on today. But um, when you wear your mask... When you wear your mask, it must look. So I'm about to um I actually have to make my schedule for the next month. And next month I'm going to Houston, Disney, I'm moving, and I'm going to Tulum. So April's gonna be very busy for me. And I gotta work, so you know. And I gotta do YouTube, so April's gonna be busy for me. Um But you know I like being busy, so I'm just trying to get all this off. I work first class today. The other flight attendant, he's so cool. Um, I work first class today. And that guy, the guy is first class. He kept trying to flirt with me. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have to serve because of COVID. But first class, I serve because it's, it's optional. And I serve because they pay for it. So I just wear my gloves and, you know, I be sanitary. You know, I try to be a, a nice flight attendant. Um, but he kept talking to me and... My whole this thing was unbuttoned all the time. Anyway, yeah, he kept talking to me and whatnot. And I'm like, he like he kept trying to flirt and ask, oh, what are we doing on our layover? Like, I'm we not about to hang out or whatever. <laughs> like, people could be so weird. And then I was eating my um my food. Cause a lot of times flight says we have to eat on eat on a plane. He was like, Oh, um, did you save me some? No. I can show you guys the hotel. Normally when I come to Virginia, we have a layover here. I don't stay in the hotel because um, my mom lives here, but it's too late 
for her to come tonight. So you guys will see her in the morning. And so yeah, it's a little hotel. They got the two beds and whatnot. I like that. I put my stuff over here, you know, sleep in the other bed. That's it. You guys will see my mom in the morning. And then we'll wrap, go ahead and wrap the vlog up. Cause I really gotta edit tomorrow. Okay. My mom came, say hey mom. Hi. Show me your hair. It looks cute. You put the green in for St. Patrick's Day? Yep. She had a different color of these. Oh, the same lady did it? Mm -hmm. She bought a meatball from my Yeah, this is what you was going to eat, but you can give them this. Oh, okay. And uh, you can eat this stuff. Yeah. I don't know which one. Okay, yeah. She got the other flight attendant some food, too. I don't care about that ice pack, but my lunch box. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed like this little vlog of me and my work trip. Um, I just have a few more flights today and then that's it. So I'm just in the vlog here and I go home. So it's just a really short trip. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I post like funny stuff that happened during flights during the day on that. Um, but I think it was kind of cool how you guys got to see my mom and how it's cool, you know, it's kind of killing two birds in one stone. Have a layover in Virginia and get to see my mom and get paid doing it. Cause I get paid the whole time. And you guys got to see the commute in life. So that's pretty good. I do got to commute back. Um, so let's just hope I make the plane with no worries. But yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.